Hello, today I'll show you an example of using Modbus with Peric Dyno controller to communicate with a variable frequency drive that drives a dyno cooling fan. First, I'll show you my setup. The VFD is connected to the dyno controller with only two wires and RS485 adapter. In this example, the VFD will be driving just an AC motor without any fan connected. Now, let's go quickly through the setup of the software. I created two input channels, one to control the VFD mode and the other to control its speed. Now, I need a function to convert the input channel on-off state to the code required by the VFD. Here is the Modbus setup. The interface is set to the same configuration as the VFD. Here I added three Modbus channels to the interface. First one writes the VFD mode, second writes the speed, and the third one reads the DC bus voltage. Let me show you how this setup works. From the desktop I can turn on and off the VFD and I can manually control the speed. That was a quite primitive way of controlling the dyno fan. In the end, the dyno controller knows a lot about what's going on on the dyno and it can automatically control the fan speed. Let's do something more sophisticated now. We will control the fan speed based on two channels. The dyno speed that drives the fan from 0 to 100% when accelerating from 0 to 100 km per hour and our input channel that will this time serve as the manual speed override. It will allow us to set the minimum fan speed. Here's the third function that join these two variables. In the Modbus setup, we replace the previous source for fan speed with our new function. Let's test this setup. First, we confirm that the fan is still controlled with the manual slider. Now, we set the minimum speed with the slider to always have some ventilation in the dyno cell and we accelerate the vehicle to see automatic control in action. That's all for a basic speed-based fan control. Of course, with the function module you can do much more. You can spin it up when dyno receives power from the vehicle. You can control the vehicle radiator temperature with a temperature sensor and PID function. You're only limited by your imagination. I hope you'll have fun cooling your vehicles on the dyno with my controller.